Uh, thank you very much and God bless you. Uh, this is another wonderful day that the Lord has given unto us. Uh, we are grateful for the good day that God has given unto us. Welcome again to Divine Marriage Program. This is a program that is uh, touching on marriage and uh, also preparation for marriage that you may get a, a good family that is God ordained. My name is Apostle Domizia Namwenda of Life Equipping and Restoration Ministry, the King's House, Morangata. Together with my wife, I am Florida Mwenda and you are most welcome. Yeah, we are hosting this uh, program together. Uh, this program runs from Monday uh, to Friday. And we are grateful that you are tuned in for us to continue to learn more about marriage and uh, continue to receive the divine guidance that will uh, give us a direction to a happy marriage and God bless you for being with us. Uh, I want to encourage you to share the word uh, of this message with your friends, wherever they may be or wherever you may be watching from. I alert your friend or your friends. Uh, watch with your wife. Don't just go somewhere and watch it alone. Uh, watch with your wife. And if you're married, if you're not married, you can watch. And if you are uh, planning to marry and the uh, fiance is far away from you, uh, just alert him, uh, uh, let them uh, be tuned. Our son, uh, Timo, I can see you. You are tuned. Um, God bless you. And uh, God do you good. I may not be able to see all who are tuned in. Um, but uh, feel appreciated, whatever you may be. Uh, may the Lord God bless you. Uh, may the Lord God do you good. I want to invite my wife now that she may pray so that we begin uh, the program uh, with a word of prayer. Then we will have the recap of what we have learned so far, uh, especially in the foundation. We may not go to other, back to other topics. Uh, especially in the foundation, the things that we have learned and we will keep them uh, 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 coming to you so that you will not forget what we have learned. Welcome, my dear wife. Okay, let's pray, please. Father, we thank you and we honor your beautiful name. Thank you, Father, for who you are in our lives. We thank you for sustaining us. We thank you for bringing us this far, Lord. We thank you for preserving us so that we can clear your praises in the love of the name. Yes. We honor you even for this program. Yes, Lord. We trust you for guidance. We trust you, God, that there shall be healing, there shall be restoration, there shall be encouragement to them that are, in dis are discouraged in their marriages. Yes. We pray that, Lord God, you will position men into their position yes. in marriage. Yes. You usher in women, the married women, to their uh, position, the divine position. Yes, Lord. You usher in the young people that are desiring, Lord, even to enter into marriage, mm -hmm. that you connect them divinely, that, Lord God, they will know what they are supposed to know. Yes, Lord. And we pray because knowledge is power. When someone is informed, that person is not deformed at all. We pray that you will help each one of us to maximize that which you are helping us to understand. Yes. We, are, we apply in our families. And Lord God, uh, we will be able to live as per the standards of your word. Yes. We pray that your Holy Spirit this night, you will lead us and you will help us. Yes, Lord. May you tune us to our Holy Ghost. 
to that which comes from the Lord. Yes. Help us, Father, not to speak our own wisdom, but long to speak that which uh, comes from you. Yes. And this night we pray that all of the forces that are against marriage, yes. let them be destroyed. Let yes. them bow before you. Yes. And let you, Christ, be exalted. We have drawn in each and every family tonight. Yes. Then we decree your lordship in our families. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we cover our families, Lord, with the precious blood of Jesus. Yes. We declare you are God and you remain to be God. Be magnified this night and cause your name to be glorified. And this we are praying, believing, trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen. Thank you uh, for the prayer. And I believe uh, you have been also blessed by the prayer. Uh, God is guiding us and we are uh, moving into the right direction. Uh, we are in one topic which is uh, very important. It's a foundation uh, uh, thing when it comes into marriage, relationship. And I pray that you will take this with weight. Mm -hmm. And when you get this right, the other coming topics uh, you will easily understand. Uh, they will easily build you up. Mm -hmm. uh, we began by learning uh, the, 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 the design of God when it comes to marriage, what the, as He ordained. And then we came to the foundation of marriage. Yeah. And we have learned several things about the foundation and we said, this foundation, uh, there must be faith in God. That is what. Uh, makes the foundation stand. Your faith in God is very important as far as marriage issues are concerned. Amen. Number two, we we talked about uh, uh, love and submission as a pillar in a foundation of marriage. And then number three, we talked about integrity. Integrity as a foundation, uh, as a pillar in the foundation of marriage. And uh, we talked also about commitment. These are the fundamental things mm. in marriage. Commitment. How are you committed unto your marriage? How are you committed into that relationship? Mm -hmm. How are you taking this relationship? Are you committed or you're not? Mm. So we are learning about that. And we have already learned in details about commitment and what makes the marriage fail when people fail to have a commitment uh, within the marriage, the marriage fails. It does not stand the test of time. And then we have uh, what we were dealing with yesterday, and we will lay uh, 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 some emphasis there, is the communication. That's the point number five. Yeah. When it comes to marriage, there must be communication. And we want to remind you that we say the way the blood is to the body, mm -hmm. so is communication to marriage. So there must be that communication. Amen. You must talk to one another. And they say the foundation, according to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, you must speak to one another in love yeah. and also in truth. Mm -hmm. So you are speaking the truth in love. So you, that is how we are able to communicate and we are able to move on in the marriage. Love must be there in our communication. Communication is what strengthens the bond between the two couples. So you become strong, you grow. Amen. When you communicate in love and truth, and truth you will grow. Yeah. So your marriage will grow. Your relationship will grow. Yeah. Your love will grow. Mm -hmm. Because you are communicating in love. Amen. You are having love in your wants. Mm -hmm. When you are communicating, mm -hmm. then you will be able to uh, 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 communicate and uh, you are able to bring strength between the two of you. Amen. That intimacy comes yeah. and you are able to understand the likes and the dislikes. Mm -hmm. And then you are able to serve each other well. Yeah. So when you keep quiet, I said men, especially men, are the most important tool in marriage. What God has given to you is your mouth, mm -hmm. not the other two. So yeah, the other one uh, is important also, but as, it's not as important as your mouth. As your mouth. Mm -hmm. So speak. 
Tell your wife what you feel, what you like, what you want. Communicate. Mm -hmm. And using your mouth, uh, this is very important. Express your feeling. How are you feeling? What is what is what are you feeling? Speak your expectations. Cast your 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 vision through your words. Mm -hmm. Let us uh, hear your words. Mm -hmm. And when this happens, you are going to be blessed and you will enjoy that marriage uh, relationship. Speak good words to your spouses. Yeah. You speak good words. Tell them how beautiful they are. You are my queen. You are wonderful. You, I love you. You are amazing. You look wonderful. You have charming eyes. Don't, don't speak words that are bad. You are, a, you are a prostitute. You are good for nothing. You are evil, useless. I regret. I regret having married, having married you. I, I cast the day we met. Those kind of things do not build. They good and they destroy that relationship. Please speak good ones to one another. Yeah. Because we understood that speaking brings relief and healing. So when you speak good ones, they bring relief and healing. Uh, thank you, Willie Williams, from all the way from USA. Yeah. We are we are thank thankful to God you have joined us today, and I believe you are getting blessed from where you are in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for all those who have joined us. Yeah. So when you speak, you are healed mm -hmm. and you are relieved. Amen. According to Job that two from verse seventeen to twenty, you can read. Especially verse twenty, demonstrate that out. Yeah. So speak, and you shall be relieved. So hey, the ones that you release, they make you relieved. Yeah. They make you relieved. And you are able to communicate uh, what is in your heart so that you're not burst. Yeah. Because when the ones are burning inside you, you are like a, a, a wine. Uh, a, the, the, the wine, uh, we can call it uh, the, the, where the wine is stored, that there is no outlet, yeah. a tank mm. or a container. That is, that is uh, where there is no outlet. Mm -hmm. So we believe that uh, God is uh, helping you to understand. God is helping you to get right everything when it comes to communication. I believe the power of God is helping you and you are getting to understand more and more about your, your communication. So it's a way of making your mind known. You can, uh, your requests, your expectations, your desires, you do that. You create a good environment of love. You cannot call somebody a pig and in the evening you expect something to be good. It will be bad. So call us with name. Call him good one names. Show him how important he is. And uh, we, we say that there must be verbal uh, communication. You express yourself. This is very important. Yeah. Uh, other means of communication are also important, but the verbal one is very effective Amen. in a marriage relationship. Mm -hmm. Verbal communication. Mm -hmm. Communication through a text, uh, communication through letters. They are important. But when it comes to marriage, verbal. Your mouth. That is that is what matters a lot in your marriage. Mm -hmm. This makes the other person feel honored, loved. Uh, it's also good to use other methods, especially when you are far away. But when you are near your wife, you cannot text. Not unless you want to surprise. There's something you want that to feel. But you are using your mouth more. And this is very important mm -hmm. when it comes to marriage relationship. Now confess good things between uh, uh, good things to your spouse and also confess, be positive about your marriage. Talk good things about your marriage. Don't say I regret ever having a marriage to this married to this man or this woman. No. Confess good things about your marriage. Talk good things about your wife. Talk good things about your marriage. Talk good things about your husband. You know what? Speak. Speak yes. to edify. Edify your husband. Edify your wife. Don't blast your wife every time she wants to say something, you blast her. Mm -hmm. 
Don't blast your husband. Don't shout on him. Or at him every time he tries to bring a point. You say, I've never seen a stupid man like you. This one will be very, very, very bad when it comes to the issues of marriage. Then uh, you are supposed to create that freedom that you can talk without fear to one another. And this will be very important when it comes uh, to our marriage. And then you are supposed to show your love concern through the communication. Uh, you are able to hand one another, one another very well because you are talking. So please talk, share. When you are together, speak. Have time to let your feelings be known. Let your frustration be known by the other person. Let your worries communicate everything. We are nothing. It is only sweet things that are supposed to be communicated in marriage. Say what you fear. You feel you want somebody to talk to. Somebody who is close to you. Somebody who is uh, uh, ready to listen to you, to give you a, a listening ear that you can talk to. So this, this is your partner. God has given unto you so that you can talk. You can have uh, ones together that are establishing your marriage and even your life so that you can improve your life together. We say the reason why people are not free in the physical and talk, mm -hmm. it begins when they are spiritually apart. And then they are apart in the mind. Mm -hmm. Spiritual and mind uh, uh, intimacy proceeds physical intimacy. That's true. Uh, the first thing when Adam was given uh, the wife by God, if he said, This is the bone of my bones. The flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called a woman, yeah. a man with a womb, whom mm -hmm. man. That's what he said. But when they sinned, what happened after they sinned? He told God, the woman, this woman, this woman that you brought unto me. So the language changed. So when there is a spiritual problem. Marriage, in the marriage, there will be communication problem. problem. There shall be a breakdown. It's God that makes you understand one another. Amen. So, that is why we say, keep God as your foundation. Mm -hmm. So, when you are able to communicate to the other person well, yes. it is because you are spirit, there is that grace. The ones as the grace, because God has crowned you with the grace. You can hang this other person. And you can be blessed because this is what God wants. So we say maintain spiritual intimacy. I say again, maintain spiritual intimacy. Be, enjoy that oneness in the spirit. Amen. That's why we say when there are difficult things, then we, you are supposed to pray. Mm -hmm. For God to give you understanding on how to earn one another. Yeah. They say a family that prays together stays together. Remember we are working against a force. This force wants to scatter you. The devil brings confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Mm -hmm. But the devil is the author of confusion. Mm -hmm. He does not want you to have understanding with your husband. Or understanding with your wife. He wants you to quarrel. Where there is quarrel, God is not there. Yeah. The God of peace comes where there is peace. But when you quarrel, quarreling keeps away anointing. Doesn't matter how much anointed you are, that quarrel will keep it away. And of course, now when there's that uh, quarrel, you, 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 there are many families that are struggling. <laughs> uh, First of all, because when there's no understanding, when you speak something, mm. I misinterpret. Yeah. When I utter something, you misinterpret. Mm -hmm. So when that when there is now a quarrel, uh, in line with Psalm one that three, mm. you meet there will be no harmony. Yeah. There will be no unity. Mm. And now there are people even who are suffering financially. They are suffering the economy. It is it is one thing simply because there shall be no commanded blessing upon them. 
upon them. So there are some constraints that people may experience simply because of division. Yeah. And this is the desire of the devil. Because when you are divided, you cannot uh, experience the commanded blessing in our family. Yeah. So the devil will use that tactic that you will work very hard, whatever you are gathering, because of that division, it brings uh, that splitting, that it brings that division and the scattering of the blessings of God. That's yeah. what I, I, I felt. That, that, that's very important. When uh, every time I officiate the wedding, I mm -hmm. charge the newly wedded couples. Mm -hmm. I say, no matter what you shall go through, remember you shall remain undivided. Undivided. That's why the Bible says, what God has put together, no man shall put asunder. There is no separation. Mm -hmm. So make effort mm -hmm. every time, each one of you, to make sure that you agree. Mm -hmm. Because when there is no deciding, there is no agreement in that relationship, it shall be very, very bad. The devil will come in there. So let you have that agreement, and when you have that agreement, then you will be working together as a family, and you are going to be blessed, and God is going to do something good for you, yeah. and you are going to see its manifestation mm -hmm. in every area of your life. All right, praise the Lord. Uh, we thank God so far, so good. Uh, so please improve, improve in your communication improve in your communication do everything right to see to it that uh, you are staying well you are communicating well wise please uh from wherever you are listening those that are desiring to become somebody's uh wife uh make sure that you are fully prepared and uh do a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, uh research through the Spirit of God, because if you are not fully equipped, uh, there will be uh, some problems. I had some ladies, uh, and I said such ladies, they don't need husbands, because there will be uh, a problem. And uh, they were saying, simply because they are learning, they, are, they, they, have, they have gone through the primary education, they have gone through the secondary education, they have gone through the, the, the college, they have masters, they have PhDs, uh, they, they are not ready to do some things that we, that wives do. So I want to challenge you, even if you have any title, uh, the place of work, everybody is bowing, everybody is calling you madam. Everybody is, 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 is uh, using words uh, that shows that you are a superior person. Please, when you go home, hang your title at your gate and go in your house as a wife. That one will spare you many pains that one will spare you many 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 things that would hurt you every man wants a woman who can submit and uh, there, are, there are people who are not willing to do anything they are not ready to do anything at all at all simply because they carry a lot of titles mm -hmm. they are so educated yeah. and you hear them saying the the type of uh, my man is a man who can do what i want uh, it's a man who can wash utensils, who can wash clothes, who can cook. If he's not ready for all these things, then I, I, I don't need him. Please, if you're not set, don't uh, enter into marriage. So for uh, let, let me comment on, comment on that. Yes, please. Well, the word husband, mm -hmm. we said it means a master. A master. Or a lord. And that's how Sarah was calling Calling her brother. She's a mother of faith. Lord. Yeah. So, in other words, when it comes to marriage, the man has to be made a leader. We cannot have two equal people in marriage. Two we heads. cannot have two heads. <laughs> that would be a beast. That will be a monster. Yeah. Be a monster yeah. With two heads. Yeah. Number two, what kills many marriage mm -hmm. is when there is no submission mm -hmm. and each one of you want to prove you have your own life yeah you have your own vision mm -hmm. you have your own direction look at this the one division is die then vision uh, and then die vision. means two mm -hmm. so when you have two vision or two visions in the same 
our own or in the same house, then you are divided. Yeah. And that's where separation begins. Mm -hmm. I always say this in a marriage. Let man be a man, let woman be Every a woman. Man. Full stop. Know your place. Know who you are. Yeah. Let man do his best to promote, to promote the feminine. If that is in that woman. Mm -hmm. Let the woman do the best to promote the, the, the masculine that is in that man. Yeah. That is where the re real thing is. A man is happy when he is a man, when he feels real. Mm -hmm. The woman is happy when she is real. So the woman wants a man who will make her, her feel real. And a woman, a, a man wants a woman who will make him feel real. Amen. Not a man that you will be sending. Go bring this, the money is shaking because you speak, you speak. That is perversion. And there shall not be happiness. Not a woman also that you will be commanding like a slave. Mm -hmm. A woman was removed from the ring. Not from the legs. Yeah. So from the rib, mm -hmm. so they are the place of protection. So that you protect near the heart. Mm -hmm. She came out, out of near the heart to protect her. Mm -hmm. I remember she came from the left side where the heart is. Mm -hmm. Almost near the heart. To be loved. Mm -hmm. To be protected. Mm -hmm. And she came not from the end mm -hmm. to sit on you. Mm -hmm. She came not from the legs. So that you can trample on her. She has a place. A place is to be loved. So a woman should be looking for a man who is ready to promote her as a woman and lover. And she is also supposed to submit. So real men will not turn a woman into a slave. Yeah. You will be turned into a queen. And you're not, no, I'm not a slave yeah. one. Yeah. You told me they are those who are called slave queens. So <laughs> they kill. Now I want you to get that picture. The man feels real when he is treated well, honored. And the woman feels real when he has, she has a king who treats her like a queen. Amen. So it is about promotion. Mm -hmm. You promote her feminine her qualities. Mm -hmm. And he was also promote the quality of a man is a young. So I tell men this. If you're not ready to, back, to, to love a woman mm -hmm. to the level that you can die for her, don't marry Wait. Is that to the woman? If you're not ready to submit yeah, to that man, man and submit everything and be second in command, mm -hmm. doesn't matter how powerful you are. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. Yeah. I used to have a, a lecturer in our, in our university, in my days in the university. Mm -hmm. She was nice. Mm -hmm. I loved her. Mm -hmm. She was the motherly quality. Mm -hmm. She would come and say, I am who I am, you know my titles. But when I go to my home, I earn my degrees at my gate. Yeah. I become a good mother, a good wife. Say, can you see how happy I am? It is because I know the place where I belong in marriage. Mm -hmm. I, I am a mother. When you meet me there, I am a mother. I am humble to my husband. Some me say to my husband. And that is why I am always happy. Because I understand my place. And when I come to you, I am your madam. Yes. And say, there are so many who allow their degrees oh, yeah. to be above them and possess them. They were in rank with their degrees. Yes, and today, they are not happy. Yeah. So all those women who say, I, am, I have a degree, I am most army, I cannot be like this woman, you will never be happy. Because that is the way God ordained things to be. I don't say that you'll be a slave when you're a good mother. But you know your place. You know your value. You know who you are to your husband. And when you understand that, you'll be happy in that marriage. And a good man will always make a woman feel that she's great. Amen. And that is where marriage is. Yeah. We thank God for that. So uh, we can see our, 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 our sons, our daughters, uh, Mwangi, Lindia, Jane, and the rest. Uh, you are most welcome. So as we are talking about communication and uh, especially knowing your place, 
if uh, you are a woman, know your position, yeah. know your place in the marriage. Yeah. When you come home, earn everything. If, if you're a billionaire, enter into your family as a mother, as a wife, and uh, do what women do. Yeah. Do what a wife does, do what a mother does, yes. do what a friend does. Be a friend to your to your to your children, to your to your husband. Play with them. Play with them. Not 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 even in your house you want your husband to call you madam. Uh-uh. Ah. It's not <laughs> even <laughs> in the house we don't expect people to call us yes, sir. Yes. We do. Yes. We have our children, we play with them. Yeah. So, so please uh be uh, a wife at home. Yeah. Be a mother at home. Be a, 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 a good and good person who, who, who is who is reachable because when you come and you are you are you are put on that garment of, of your status, that one will scare everybody in the house and there shall be no happiness. Uh, wives know your ability, your your ability to think, even to incubate and to come up with uh, with plans is supposed to help your husband. So whatever you are having, anything that you can process, anything that you can bring forth, yeah. your ideas, your knowledge, even your ability to think and even to have some ideas are not supposed to intimidate your husband. Mm -hmm. Those things are supposed to help your husband. Those things are supposed to make this man to go in a higher level because uh, the vision that your husband has plus your vision, you are the person to incubate these, these visions. Mm -hmm. When you incubate them, when your husband releases the vision and you incubate, you release it to him mm -hmm. and you support this thing again when this person is carrying. When he brings a vision, you nurture that vision and that vision begins to manifest. You, are, you release it back and you can even clap. There are some, the wise women, they will have even some ideas. And these ideas, they came from them. They will come, they share with their husband. And when they share with their husband, their husband may even forget. Mm. And will keep on praying and reminding, Daddy, my sweetheart, remember this and this and this. And when this man digests, and this thing materializes. Yeah. It was your idea from the word go. But you don't go everywhere saying, this was my idea. If you see this business, this empire, it is, it is my idea. Please, those things are not needed. Those things will demoralize your husband. So whatever you think, whatever you incubate, whatever plan that comes from within you or from uh, what you have perceived, it should be purely and hundred percent something to support mm -hmm. your husband yeah. something to help him mm -hmm. something to encourage him your abilities are there to help your husband to become a better person Amen. understand you came as a helper yeah. and the problem that has eaten up many marriages it is because some wives have become to they have taken long to adjust mm -hmm. They have taken time or long time to be adaptable. So they don't want to be, to be disturbed. When you are, your husband tells you this, you tell your husband, but as per me, mm -hmm. as per me, according to me. So please, when you come to your, to, your, to your family, whatever you are thinking, it should be tabled. It should be uh, brought on board so that this thing will help you together Amen. and to help your man to become a better man. Amen. You help him to become a king that he was ordained from the word go. Mm. You help him to uh, to reach where God ordained him to, to reach. And by doing so, uh -huh. you will be the best helpmate. Amen. God will give you some credentials. God will give you some marks that you have never seen before. And the Lord God will be happy with you. So I want you to uh, flash back my abilities, my strength, uh, my visions, uh, whatever I do, whatever I think. They are to, supposed to be used to help. help to help. Mm -hmm. They are there to help. To not help to the husband. Something. Not to tear him down. Not to blast him. Not to nag him. Not to show him that he does not think. Because there are some people who will tell uh, 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 the husband, since the time we married, I am the one who brings ideas. What have you been doing? Please, 
if, if the Lord has given you that grace, if the Lord has, has, has purpose to use you in a, in a, in a better way, maybe you are more learned than your husband, maybe you are, you are, you are sharp. You are even sharp. You are even sharp. There yeah. are some wives who are wiser than their husband. And that's true. It is true. In Abigail. the Bible, Abigail yeah, was wiser than Nabal. So that, that, that thing should not uh, make you to take the place of your husband. Yeah. Remain to your place, remain to your position, and that by, by doing that, the Lord will reward you by more promotions. I tell you the truth. Mm. Women who have remained faithful and given submissive to their husband, there are many promotions. They are more that, happy. They, like, they are more happy in life. There is more promotion <laughs> bigger than happiness. Yes. If you are walking in joy in that marriage, that is a And the Lord will reward you yeah. by submitting you go even at the place of work, some, some opportunities will come your way. Yeah. Because this man is a priest. You are my pastor. You are a priest. And whatever you declare, when I go out there, it will happen to my life. Mm -hmm. So that's why even I always tell uh, some ladies, maybe you are, you, are, you are in your house, even your husband is not born again. Mm -hmm. Make sure before you leave, tell him, my dear, pray for me before I leave. Mm -hmm. Let's let, and even if possible, kneel down there for your husband to bless you. He may not be born again, but you are you are already helping him to go into the place, into the position of a priest in yeah. that house. Mm -hmm. Kneel down, tell him, I want you to bless him before I go. I want you to pray for me before I go. But some of us, you see him as a demon, you begin to speak in tongues, you want to control. Even sometimes as a, as a, as a, as a wife, initiate even some uh, house fellow, uh, your fellowship at home. Tell him that today you are the one who is sharing with us. Mm. Give him Bible. Let him do with that Bible whatever he wants to do. Even if he has never entered to the, to the church door. I tell you the truth. That place, that thing itself will cause this man to see, oh, I, I, I need to do something. I need to do something. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to prove to him that you are, you are just as good as he is, then you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are digging your own grave. You, you are proving that you are yeah. his competitor, yeah. Yeah, not, of the helper. not the helper. So you are introducing something else so, that you cannot stand So to women, see. listen to me. Mm -hmm. You did not come to that marriage to but compete me. with you your husband. Help. You came to help. Yes. Know your place. Yes. Your place is an helper, not a competitor. Mm -hmm. You never came to give him competition. Yeah. You came to help him. Yeah. You never came to prove how good you, you are. are. No better you are than him. What you can do more than he can do. You came to help him from where he is. By the way, let him confirm you are the, the good things that you are doing. Yeah. Let him confirm. Oh, my dear, you, see, you are doing yeah, this. You are, you are best in this. You are good. You you meet this man even delegating some things. Yeah. He, because you will see that uh, you are in your position. Mm -hmm. You are in your place. You will see this woman is not doing any harm. You see, there are men who fear even their own wives. Their own wives. Yeah, because they, they don't want to, to, to express themselves yeah. because their woman is like a tiger in the house. You can, you, or a snake, when she is rattled, she can burn or but, consume everything yeah, in that house. And it really hurts. It, 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 is, it is very bitter. And, there, and this is what I always like to say to the women. Especially those who are getting prepared to get uh, married. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, mm -hmm. you may not be able to change that man. Mm -hmm. God is able to change him. But you, you are not able to change this person. So, you are not entering into that marriage to change him. You are coming to that marriage to conform. Amen. So, if there is change... Mm -hmm. It's before you go there. Yeah. Work it out. Choose a right person yeah. before you enter. Mm -hmm. Because when you enter, you are entering to conform. <laughs> you are entering there to be adaptable. And you're not going to rehabilitate. Now you're not going to rehabilitate this yeah. person. Yeah. So you are going to conform. It is you being able to conform or to be adaptable to the life of this man that causes change in this man. He can change and improve for to the levels you want. Yeah. But not when you are rebellious mm -hmm. or you are put pressure on him. Mm -hmm. You must change this. Mm -hmm. You must change this. Mm -hmm. We cannot work together until this is changed. Mm -hmm. That one will not work when it comes to a good marriage relationship. Yeah. Yeah. God created a man and gave him a man and gave him a woman who is suitable. 
and unjudgeable to him. Those are the ones that are used by the Bible. So you are used to suitable and are adaptable to that person. So you're not coming to pull some things there and some things and bring some things that you, you, you are not able to do. But you are inner beauty. Amen. You are humility. Amen. That's what the Bible is, is using. Mm -hmm. Your inner character mm -hmm. is able to win over men even if they don't hear the word. Yeah. They can be turned. Yeah. So it is the woman character that changes man more than that's anything true. else. The woman character. Mm -hmm. So when you humble yourself, you have that humility, you are carrying that humility mm -hmm. that will touch the heart of the man when you bow. That's why my wife is saying, you bow and tell him, pray for me, bless me as I go. Mm -hmm. You lower yourself, then you are getting promoted before him. This man will feel great Amen. when he is dealing with you. Feel great, mm. and you are going to be blessed Amen. because of that. Amen. Yeah. So I want to encourage uh, women there. Understand you are a powerhouse. The one says that uh, he who gets a good wife finds a and good thing and obtains favor. favor from the Lord. So, in according to the word of God, God has. Uh, has granted favor to women. We carry favor. Yeah. But we are not supposed to come and brag with the favor that the Lord has given unto us. Yeah. So if you are a wife and your husband even cannot pray, he cannot even stand and pray, don't begin to mock him. Mm -hmm. Don't begin even to, to brobeat him and asking him why don't you ever stand up and pray. Please pray for him. Understand 1 Corinthians chapter number 7 and verse 14 it says uh, uh, the unbelieving husband will sanctify the unbelieving the, the, the believing yes, husband. The believing one, husband will sanctify the unbelieving one. The uh -huh. husband, the husband. So if you are positioned in the presence of the Lord understand you can turn around through your prayers. Amen. Through your prayers, yes. through your encouragement. Yes. Because if you begin to encourage your husband, there's something very important that you have said. It is it is in the book of I think the first letter of Peter, chapter number three. Mm. There are men who will of course be convinced by the ones of their lives. Yeah. Others they will be convinced that the, the wife has changed through their, their actions. actions. Mm. So uh, when 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 you begin to be very humble the way you communicate to your husband, the way you treat him, the way you do things in the in, in the presence of your husband, the position that you have given him, the encouragement that comes from you, even when he is down, mm -hmm. you should be the first person to say mm -hmm. you should even when he is not feeling well in his book and he's trying to cover up. Mm. Even when he has gone out there and he has met with some challenges, maybe from the place of work, and he has come home beaten by whatever was happening there, and he's trying to cover up. You are the first person who should sense, sense. that there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. When you try, you see there's nothing that you can hide from him. Mm. Well, even if maybe you are feeling something and you, you want maybe to put on that garment of a man. Mm. I'm okay, I'll tell you, my dear, I know you. Mm. I know you. Tell me what is happening. Yeah. So, when, when your husband goes out there and he meets with some things, maybe business is not uh, working well, the company has just collapsed, mm -hmm. the tenders, they are no longer there, like now, the time or we are being harassed by, yeah, by the bosses. Yeah, or by the bosses. When he comes out in, in your house, you should be the first person to encourage this person, so that the, the words that are, are proceeding from your mouth, the prayer, sometimes even pray for him when he is here, mm -hmm. the one that you are declaring. Yeah. Scatter whatever is trying even to haunt his life, whatever is trying to pursue his destiny. Begin to scatter those things when he is here. I tell you the truth, the following day, he will walk like, like a lion to that office. Um. He will walk like a king to that office. And this is why you came to the life of this person. My dear, there yes. are some women who have never known mm -hmm. They came to the life of man to protect a man. Yeah. And they should know now. The Bible says, a man, a man shall live his father and mother mm -hmm. and shall cleave. 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 That word cleave mm -hmm. is armed for safety. So shielding. She is the one who is giving man the, 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 the protection. Yeah. 
to shield this the shielding the man yes. the way he's supposed to be shielded mm -hmm. why are men becoming praise of the enemy it's because women are failed to shield in their duty as women to shield the men to to help man man has come to cleave to you Men are not opening up to you because the moment he opens the weakness, you begin to blast him. You begin to tell you are a man. You are not supposed to be talking like this. I'm the one who is supposed to be telling you like this. And men are very strong when they, they go out. They are very weak. Yeah, when they come, when they come to their wives. Yeah. Men are very weak <laughs> I tell you. when they are in their wives. But when they go out, they are like giants, untouchable, well, unreachable. One well, man, I remember we were in a meeting. Yeah. And one man of God testified, he's, he's an entrepreneur. Mm. He was in a meeting with who is who. Mm. We, we don't want to mention. And he said, when time was hard, mm. this man was shivering. Uh -huh. He was shaking. He was saying, I don't know where I will go because of my wife. Because my wife does not believe in me. My wife does not trust me. So a man is out there, he's a CEO. But when he goes home, uh, we'll meet a, a woman who is, who is holding her waist. Useless man. Where are you coming from? And this man will begin to break. We don't say that the woman is supposed to harass the husband. Yes. That is wrong. It is very but wrong. there is strength. When yeah. I am before you, I please myself. That's right. I don't put any guard yeah. to protect me. Yeah. You are the, supposed to be there mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. So when I open up myself to you, yeah. you are supposed to encourage me. Yeah. You are supposed to stand with me and show me that I am in the right way. I am moving. And when you, I confess, I tell you, I feel I'm weak in this. I, I, not that I want to fall, mm -hmm. not that I want to backslide, mm -hmm. not that I want to, to be tempted to do evil, mm -hmm. but I feel yeah. I need this support mm -hmm. so that you understand my heart. Amen. So you need to stand with me at that time. Amen. So we men are unprotected when their wives shield them away from themselves. Yeah. So you cannot talk, mm -hmm. you cannot be weak. Mm -hmm. Men don't cry out. But men cry before their wives. Yeah, you yeah. humble yourself yeah. and you cry to the man. You can cry when she is hearing and tell her, Mommy, I feel like this. Mm -hmm. And you can cry. Yeah. That's why you can show the emotions. Yeah. Yeah. But when now this woman man tries to cry, you begin me. to laugh. And he says, I thought I am the woman here and you are the man. My so God. you have taken my place. So what will happen to this man? He is not protected. Mm -hmm. And these women will again cry. Because they never took their, their place where they are supposed to take, to take their place. Yeah. So look at what the Bible says in Jeremiah 31. I believe you can open it for us. Jeremiah 31 and verse is 22. And I believe some women will learn this and they know. The Bible says the man shall cleave to the wife. Amen. So that you understand there is a, the role that the woman is playing mm -hmm. when it comes to the, to the life of a, a, of a woman. And, and, and uh, the woman is supposed uh, to protect the man and be there for the man uh, for the glory of God. Jeremiah that 1 and verse is 22. I don't know if, you, if we have a verse like that yes, in the Bible. Yes. You can read for us so that somebody will hear uh, this uh, beautiful evening. Amen. Mm. It says, how long will you guard about all you backsliding daughter? Uh -huh. For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. Mm -hmm. A woman shall enc uh, encompass a man. Mm -hmm. yeah. A woman shall encompass a man. Yeah. And that's the new thing that the Lord has created on earth. Yeah. The, the Amplified says, How long will you waver and hesitate to return? Oh, you backsliding daughter. Oh, you backsliding daughter. Mm -hmm. For the Lord has created a new thing in the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. A female shall compass yeah. who we. win and protect a man. Hallelujah. So you will compass a man. You will protect man from pain. Amen. You shield him from shame. Mm. You don't expose him to everyone. Mm. My husband is, has nothing to do now. He has died like he is like this. Yeah. He has become useless. Mm. There is nothing happening. Uh, these days he does not earn anything. He earns a quarter of his salary. He is down, and the one who is uh, feeding the entire family, 
You are supposed to protect this man. Amen. The husband shall be encompassed by the wife. And the wife will continue to hold the man. Yeah, of course. You are the one to entice him. Every time. Every time. You, uh -huh. are, you look attractive yeah. to the man. Yes, every time. Win him. We, uh, yeah. Because men are in, in problem. When you are married, most of the women you settle. <laughs> and your accommodation bring, comes to an end. Because in this world, there is not women who want to be married by two men. Yeah. But a man is in trouble. Yeah. There is somebody always hunting the person that you don't respect. So you should hunt yours. So you need to protect this man. Yes. yes. You are Show perfect. that you are the best. Mm -hmm. Win is at yeah. pleasing every time. Mm -hmm. Show him every time. When you fail to do so, there's somebody out there. He you. will be without uh, a, a shield. Yeah. He goes out. To the battle and he is not shielded mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he goes to the heart battle he is not shielded so men are supposed to be protected mm -hmm. and uh, some women never protect their husbands even for their own uh, house managers you prone them to those to those things and then he fell then you began to blame him okay. and say you can control yourself you are men you are a beast some even to their own relatives. That is true. We are beasts. We were animals. We are living with animals. And we stayed with them before the women came. So the woman came and, and brought something. Yes. A new thing on earth. Mm -hmm. A new thing is born on earth. Amen. So that's why the woman has told, come back to your place. Mm -hmm. You need to encompass your husband. Protect him from pressure. Don't allow him to die before time. So failure to do that, the Bible terms you as a backslidden daughter. Yeah. As a backslidden wife. Yeah. As a backslidden woman. Yeah. So you should go back. And some of us, they were doing it when they were in courtship. They were trying to do whatever they can to win their... To win their... their, to their win, yeah. But when they... They said, yes, I do. They started to stay together. They now went for a vacation. So you it's need to problem. make him fall for you every day. <laughs> and when you do that, you will maintain that happiness. Yeah. Don't just release yourself and look like the grandmother. And you are not. <laughs> so you need to keep on winning his heart. Winning his heart. Yeah. By your good actions. Mm -hmm. By your good ones. Amen. By good, something, good, good mm -hmm. things that you are doing. Mm -hmm. Until you is war. Mm -hmm. By you all the time. And that's the protection. Yeah. I think God is right. Amen. Yes. So we need to, 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 to embrace that and the woman understand. Every time I need to make this man fall in love with me, yeah. fall in love with me, mm -hmm. let him be possessed with me. Mm -hmm. Let as he goes out. Not just telling him, where do you put me? And you have put yourself away. Because you don't give him space. Yeah. You don't encourage him. Yeah, yeah. When he opens up, you kick him you out. Knock him down you knock him down. Attitude. When he raises yeah. his life, so his, 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 his voice against you, mm -hmm. you go higher. Yeah. And you prove, you want to prove you are two, two bulls yeah. in the same, same in, the, in, in, in the same day. Oh that one becomes practical, a practical impossible yeah. Yeah. to do in marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the one says this in Proverbs 15 verse 1, uh, uh, before I, I read there, understand your, whenever your husband, that which my, my dear is trying to tell us, whenever your husband opens her, understand there are many things that men put and mm -hmm. they keep, mm -hmm. but when given an environment, they open up, and yeah. of course to their wives. So you should prepare an environment whereby when your husband comes, or when maybe he goes somewhere, and um, he, uh, he stays there, uh, or he has gone for a conference meeting one week, he can open up, even through the phone, he can, he can speak and open whatever is happening. Please don't knock him down. Yeah. Don't bring him down. Don't begin to blast him and uh, you're just telling him there's nothing you, 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 can, you can do apart from just downloading those negative things, those things of yours, you'll never make it. I, 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 I don't have time for you. Mm. And you begin an argument. There are people who are even over the phone. Yeah. Simply because maybe your husband wanted to explain something or there are some demands that you are placing. You put him off. You put him off. And, he, and that makes him feel unrespected. Yes. And displaced. Uh -huh. And 
uh, he feel that he is not uh, wanted, he is not loved, and he can begin to collapse from within. Mm. He can begin. In other words, you are you are you are you are you are, you are breaking a pillar of, of kingship mm. to this man. You are you are you are demoralizing it, 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 it. And man want to be a king. Yeah, every time. Yeah. So make sure that you are, you don't argue with him. Yeah. Don't make sure that you don't you don't become or um, bring ne negativity attitude in in the, in the in the in the things that are taking place in between the two of you. Yeah. When he has something, please answer him with a with a low tone mm -hmm. and with a lovely tone. That that way you will create an environment of peace and there shall be unity. So as I said, Proverbs fifteen verse one it says, a soft answer turns away wrath. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> there, are, there are people who be asked, uh, where, where is my time? Don't you know where it is? Mm. You, uh, you, you provoke him to wrath. provoke him to wrath. Mm. Uh, Ash, but a harsh word yeah, starts up anger. anger. So when you bring harsh words, prepare for, for the, the war. For the war. Prepare for the worst. And this will bring you down. Of course, you cannot win. Mm. Uh, I want to tell ladies, you cannot win. You may try it, but I tell you the truth. At the end of the day, you will be a loser. Mm. Uh, uh, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have interacted with many ladies, married uh, ladies, and uh, they try to over, over, overstep. They are and, yeah, yeah, they are mm. And when they overstep, uh, they find it rough. And it, it takes time for their... Unona sasa, my dear. Mm -hmm. Simba, mm -hmm. ata simba dume njike. Sa ile anaitaji simba yule dume. Uh -huh. Kuna jinsi anavyo njipeleka. Bas. Kuna mina. Anaende pole pole akiwa amenyenyekea. Na meinama. Na meinama. <laughs> na finally anawin. Yes. Nasaka kusema hivi. Mm. Ata wanawake wengi. Mm -hmm. Wale upigwa na waume zao. Asilimia sabini kuenda juu. Thank ni wao wanasababishwa wapigwe. Mm. You cannot provoke a man for a war and then expect something to happen. Remember we and peace yeah. and peace to remain in that place. We had not a case um, uh, whereby the woman uh, told uh Alikuwa anambia mume wake wewe ni mwepesi wa vita. Ni gonge. So imagine now if you tell a man like that even if he is born again spirit filled Sometimes you keep on doing like that. Before you remember he is born again, he will give you a blow and by now you will find out okay in the addition. Because you provoke, you cannot provoke a man for a war every time. There is something in them that is should supposed to be contained and kept. Mm -hmm. So when you keep on provoking it, provoking it, you are bringing him out in a negative you manner. You are ushering him into temptation. You are bringing him into temptation. And yes. the Bible says, As the, uh, lead us not into temptation, yes. but deliver us from the evil one. So the, to the born again men, or maybe you are listening to us, we are not encouraging you that when you are provoked, you beat. No. Uh -huh. Please. We tell men, yeah. you may have a provoking wife. Yes. The wisdom demands, when you feel like Maybe you cannot control yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like you can be that woman. Mm -hmm. Run away. Yeah. Go out. You know, go, go out. Do something. Go somewhere. Even take tea. Drink that tea. Go even to the church if it is near. Yeah. Pray then come back. Yeah. You, you have control that yeah. and warn yourself. That is what we call self-control. Mm -hmm. You are able to... Uh, what we call humility is being able mm -hmm. to, to control power. Amen. You have it. And but you control foolishness. and that is not foolishness yeah. you control that power you have it mm -hmm. but you control it yeah. but we say woman don't provoke your husband because if he really does not beat you physically mm -hmm. somehow you tempted them to do it in the spirit yeah. because that person will feel it mm -hmm. and then you go and say i have known i am born again because i must love that woman today I know God is in control because he held my life i must love why this woman was provoking mm -hmm. now let me say this I don't know why God is leading us to talk this and we like the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And uh, listen to us, uh, um, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. There are some women who have man in their house mm -hmm. as a husband. Mm -hmm. But this man has changed. To be something else. To be something. Because this man used to be authoritative. Mm -hmm. He used to give direction. Mm -hmm. He used to give counsel. Mm -hmm. But now, 
He has become passive. He has been put off. He has become passive. passive yeah. He does not talk. Does not face Even face. if when you dress like that, he does not say anything. Even if you are smart like what, he does not say. Even if you go and shave your hair and come, he does not talk. He just listen to that. Even if children go like this, he does not say. Because now the authority of that man has been moved away. He is dead. Living but dead. Living but dead. Mm -hmm. That's why you will never get the things that you used to get into that marriage relationship. Now, men stand up on four pillars. Mm -hmm. One of them is kingship. Yeah. Every man is a king. Yeah. And in the chest of every man, even a small boy, yeah. is kingship. Yeah. That's how they are wired. Yeah. That man wants to be honored. As a king. That is why man can yeah. die for honor. Yeah. That's, that's the kingship. So when you keep on underrating him, every time you are talking negative words, every time you are proving him a joker, you are eliminating what we call kingship. You are cutting it off. When you cut him, it off, that's leadership that. dies in that family. There is no leadership. So in other words, you become a, 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 a group of sheep, a, a flock or a sheep without a shepherd. And that is where now family are vulnerable mm -hmm. to any kind of attack. Mm -hmm. Children do not grow in a system that they are supposed to grow because they are not being able to be trained. Because one name of a father is a trainer, yeah. is a source. Mm -hmm. So if that training is dead, that family is scattered. So women know the ones that you keep telling your husband every time, you are dethroning him, you are bringing him down, yeah. you are cutting him. The kingship is going down. When the kingship goes down, you don't remain a queen. And because you are a king, a queen, because there is a king, of course. A king. Yeah. It is the king that makes you a queen. Yeah. So if they to let us say, for example, those who are currently as governors, their wives automatically are first ladies in the country. Yeah. If their governor goes out, goes she will become yeah. former. Former first. Former first lady. And that is what we hear, former. This, this goes out. And that so, is something that you have seen. Yeah. So ones are able to cut off. To cut off the kingship. Ones. This spice. All those ones you keep on releasing. Good for nothing. Useless. I wonder why I joined you. I wonder what kind of a man you are. You are a failure. That's the man will start seeing himself a failure. Seeing it. There are men who stand at their wives. Go off from today. I permit you to look for a husband. And now you are coming to where I want to ask. There are men, you, are, you, the, you married, mm. and this man, the condition, the performance, everything was well. Mm. And maybe he has, he has, he has been attacked, mm -hmm. even in his performance. Mm -hmm. And he is off. He cannot maybe even perform when it comes to men. Let me tell you, there yeah. are demonic things, uh -huh. and there are things that are caused by people. Mm -hmm. There's a couple. Mm -hmm. They went uh, for two years treatment in a hospital mm -hmm. and they are given medication the man could not perform and when they are tested there is nothing showing but okay. but the man cannot have an affair with the wow. with the wife mm -hmm. and the wife continued like that mm -hmm. they continued staying this so the wife uh what they were living with a relative with a cousin mm -hmm. and this relative one time, the husband went out and uh, he was going to the work. Remember, for about four years, there's no two years of treatment, two years of waiting because there's nothing the doctors can do. This man cannot function. And it happened when he left home. Now the man. The man yeah. left something on the top of his table in the sitting room. Some document. Some document which were very important. So he went back to get them. This house there also was left, this relative who was living with them, was left in the house and she knows she's alone. Once they go, they come in the evening and he knows all of them are working, she's left alone in the house. So she goes to the bedroom to take shower and she forgets the soap and she realizes there's no soap in the bedroom. 
So the time she is coming, she goes the way she was. She did not even have a tower. She ran because she is alone in the house. We wear clothes because of people. <laughs> so she is alone. And she goes to the sitting room, to the bedroom, to pick, to pick the soap. When she is coming out with her soap, the man now is coming into the house to pick the document. To pick the, document. the man meets the woman, that lady, the way she was, the way she was born, or the way she was dropped from heaven, the way she was. And something happened. The man grabbed that woman. And the woman grabbed the man. And the man was able to function. And that woman she conceived the same day. So it was a wonder. The wife was sure that the husband cannot perform because she has tried every magic to make this man perform. But at the sight of that woman, the man is able to function. What can we call this? Is it a demon? There may be a demon. Or there may be some kind of demeaning that makes this man stay off and becomes when like nothing the when they are together with the wife because he has been made to feel like nothing. Yeah. So he has been so demeaned. So the woman was not planning. The man was not planning. But it happened. And so we say some things here. Yeah. Even when you see the timing, it was also demonic. Yeah, it turned But right. the man, the, when they were arguing, the man said, at least. I have proved to you something. I am still a man. So this one, they are carrying something. They are carrying something. Because yes. uh, this man, this woman made him to, to think that he is a man. Say, now can I say I'm married? I'm living with a man, a woman like myself. There's nothing can happen between the two of us. So the man was just demeaned. Mm. So you can see that. Another one. That's why I'm talking even to those who are not born again. Another friend shared with a friend that the man is not working. And the, the friend, these are not born again. Mm -hmm. The friend, the, the, at least the two people, the ones that fell, they were going to church. They were members of the church and they were born again. The man the fell life. into temptation. So we can, the other ones, they were not born again. So the woman was sharing with the other woman the way the husband cannot function. And then the woman was telling her, you are the one who has a problem. How can you live with a man? And you feel you fail to cause him to function. You have something wrong. And the woman said, I'm not the one with the wrong side. If I am the one, I can make him function. Say, ah, you can't. Sima, let us bet. <laughs> then this one says, says the other, if you make him work, what? then I will give this. And then, but don't sleep with them. So one day we shall arrange. You will come home as usual. You shall stay here. Shall I shall you. hide you. <laughs> I shall hide you. Uh -huh. So when he goes to the bed, I go to the bed. You will come at time. Then I will go. You will think you are the one. And then when this happens, pretend you are going to the washroom. Then come and call me. Then I go. Because now something has happened. That one said this is the arrangement. But when she went to do that, she did not do that. When she was able to make the, 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 the generator to, <laughs> to begin functioning, the woman finished everything. Oh, Shalabos. Then she went back to her friend. To her friend. And she hurried up out. Then the friend asked, has it happened? The friend said, nothing has happened. That thing would work. So the following day, the husband wakes up and congratulates the wife. Mashallah. And tell her, darling, <laughs> ah, yesterday I don't know what kind of a mirror. So we are going, we have gone back to a normal life. It was so powerful. I don't know what happened, but I came to myself. I know you are very happy. Hey. The wife now called the friend. So you finished. And you never told me. That, that's not our agreement. See, I never planned to do it, but it happened. I, if I had left him at that time, he would have suspected. And I felt, uh, I, I know, you said that you should not know I am the one. So I failed to understand how do I do that. Now look at that. And now, let, I don't know these things that we are talking tonight. Now, 
<laughs> These are the people who do things in darkness. In darkness. They do things in darkness, they are living in darkness, and that is what happens. So now, please I want you to understand this. If you have a king, maintain him as a king. Don't cut off so by your words. You make him through your words. Your Speak words. Speak well. Speak well about oh. it. Then a man is a fighter. Yeah. We call him an hunter or yeah. a fighter. Yeah. Because he is a fighter, mm -hmm. you should not show him he is useless. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You demoralize him. You will demoralize him. Yeah. He will not discourage him when he, he is daring. He says, I want to have this. Then you tell him, ah, you cannot get you. You start laughing. You, you start laughing. He's a fighter. That's why the man did not want a woman who was very easy to get. Yeah. Because when you are hunting, mm -hmm. you don't like to look for a, a zebra or a, 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 a gazelle mm -hmm. that comes and tells you, ah, I'm, I'm here, available. I'm available, kill me. No. You chase after it, you one kill one. it, the and then you prove. So that is, that's the how man want to feel, want to feel out. I followed you. Men, they don't like competition. That's true. When they have gotten you, mm -hmm. they don't like competition. Mm -hmm. But before they got you, they wanted competition. So even if they wanted you 10, and I was number 11, and I won, I won, I would be saying, they wanted you 10, and they were better than me, but I won. That's so the man, the man likes that. <laughs> but after that, after winning, uh -huh. he does not like competition. Yeah. After winning. Mm -hmm. Women don't like competition at all time. Yeah. But men like it. It's a thing within men. Mm -hmm. They like it. Mm -hmm. They don't like to compete with you, mm -hmm when you have been won yeah. but they learn zero competition in other areas mm -hmm. so they want to be with you mm -hmm. and it's, it's the thing of a boy I remember one time we were driving at Dika Road we are driving together we are all the family mm -hmm. the young boy was not there but the two boys now they are there yeah. and uh, a small car came no, and overtook yeah. then I saw now look at me and Dick how? daddy how what is happening uh, how can us be driving a big car unless a small car can just come and pass? And they started showing me, hey, something, something is wrong, something. something. So I accelerated somewhere. I looked at them, smiled, accelerated. It, uh, went before that car. Then we looked, we started smiling. You and Dorcas, you never know. You never noticed there was something that was happening. But men were knowing what they were doing. So it's a thing in a man. They chant you. They want to, to see that they enchant. Mm -hmm. They are hunters. Yeah. They are fighters. Mm -hmm. They will fight for you, fight for community, fight for the nation. But they need encouragement. Yeah. They need that encouragement from you. And congratulations. And congratulations. Something. You see, oh, yeah. I have talked to some people in the community that they have uh, cattle, cattle rustling. Yeah. And it's a culture. Mm -hmm. And them, according to them, which is wrong, it's wrong, we don't support it. But according to them, they don't, they, they don't steal. They come to pick the cows because women have complained that, that, that they, there's no milk. Enough milk. In, there's not enough milk. When they are milking their songs, they sing. There's a man in charge. Because men are there to fight. But now if you have killed the fighter, who will fight for you when the problem comes? Mm -hmm. So there are people who show man you are useless, you're nothing. That fighting ability is cured. Yeah. A man stand in another second that than pillar. A pillar is an elder yeah. or is a mentor. Mm -hmm. He mentors. Mm -hmm. He teaches people. Mm -hmm. He shows them direction. Yeah. He is an elder and he is at his best mm -hmm. when he is an elder. Yeah. When he is teaching. Mm -hmm. So when he opens his mouth to teach you and to tell you something, he says, useless man. You well, leave him. Or you are not attending. You are not attending. Yes. What happens? Uh, he goes to talk to other men mm -hmm. who can listen. And that's why now some ladies are complaining that mm. my man comes at midnight, he comes at 3 a.m., he comes very late. He's a teacher. Because he, he wants to teach. <laughs> some people. He wants some people to listen to men. He wants to mentor. Even in the traditions, the elves, the elves, the men used to stay at the gates and to train, to pass information, proverbs, and all those things. To give them to the younger yeah, generation. Yeah. So and uh, you are a man of uh, kind of elders yes. <laughs> to give judgment, to give wisdom that will govern the society. Oh, so when you come to this woman, uh -huh. she does not know you are wise. Mm -hmm. So even the most stupid man on earth, oh, he does not want to be called foolish. 
He wants to be called your wife. When, uh, when he opens the mouth, even if he's talking foolishness, you tell him, ah, you know, I love you because you know a lot of things. He will sit now to tell you. Because now you, you, you know he has a lot of things. Even if you are wiser than him, don't show him he is useless. Ladies, I believe you are listening. So when you cut that pillar, he has no one to talk to. That's why they, they prefer not people can listen to them. They prefer going lower to the people of lower class who can appreciate them and make them feel that like they're honored. And pillar number four, number four, which makes him stand, is he is a lover. So for me. Or a friend. a friend. He is a lover or a friend. Mm -hmm. He wants to have a beauty that he can die for. Mm -hmm. A beauty that he can die for. He wants to have a, a brother that he can fight with. Oh yes. So you are the beauty that he can die for. So when this beauty rejects him, imagine I fought the land to win you from the world, bring you into my house. You reject me from my house. That's why most men are wounded by divorce. They are, they are wounded by rejection. They are wounded by the mistreatment they get from their own wife. They are wounded when they meet their own wife has cooked and has washed the dishes and the wife cannot wash even his own clothes yeah. and they can do any, nothing. If he dies a second death inside himself, because you are the beauty, you are his pride. You are something very special for him. Oh he can, he I, needs I, a man, he needs him. somebody in the, his yeah, chest yeah. that he can hold. Mm. He can hold tightly mm. with the tender love. Mm. He needs somebody that he can be very free and very weak. Mm -hmm. Tenderness. Mm. Because after showing all his mighty, okay. he needs to be tender. Yeah. He need to be course. gentle. Yes. He need to, to be soft to something. Somebody who can become soft and uh, lay on the lamb. How was Samson shaped? Oh my goodness. The lamb. Yeah, he, he slept. He was given that mighty strength, went away. And when they were telling Samson, leave this woman, is dangerous. Mm -hmm. What was he saying? Mm -hmm. She pleases mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So there is that aspect of the woman making sure that she is able to please the husband. Mm -hmm. But what do we do? We cut off the four pillars and we have a man who we don't know how to define someone living with people that are, I, I don't think they have gender something that you cannot define he's not a man he lost authority he lost everything others if they cannot become passive mm. they become very brutal yeah aggressive they can be aggressive they can use every energy against you, you beat you, you frustrate you show you that you are nothing their men must spend all their lives and their energy to prove to their wives they are useless. All things they are doing, sleeping with several women, is to show you you are nothing. Bringing a woman into the same matrimonial bed to show you you are useless. And they don't fear that. Mm. Using all their salaries, selling the land, selling the land, buying another woman car to show you you are useless. Because they want to prove that. They are going to prove they are still men. In my side, I'm cut off, but in the other side, uh, I'm respected. I'm functioning. And that woman who is getting that, when this man comes, tells her, you are wonderful. Mm. You, are, you look, I, I don't know, even the mistake that happened that I did not meet you the first time to marry you. Mm. A wonderful man like you. When you, he comes near you, useless. Good for nothing. Where will we go? Where he is filled, he feels that he is appreciated yeah, yeah. and he is loved. So women, please, have a good communication with your family yeah. that will help to draw this man near you amen, amen. than tearing him or bringing him away mm. from your life so point? that the man will stand the last thing in a marriage is to live with a passive man mm. or to live with the king who has deserted yeah. the king who has left home mm. the king who is, uh, is away mm. from himself yeah. and that is where now everything falls mm. apart I believe God will help us to return to the original position amen, amen. and to become the people that we are supposed to become uh -huh. and live the life that we are supposed to live amen. for the glory and honor of his name. Amen. So understand where really you stand. What, what, what are you using your ability? Yeah. What are you using your gifts? Mm -hmm. What are you using your wants to achieve? Yeah. What are you uh, building in that family or in that uh, 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 marriage relationship? Yeah. Where are you? Where do you stand? Mm. If your husband becomes high, become just go low. Go down. down. Don't compete with yeah. him. There's no need. If your wife goes high, because there are some wife who goes high, also you go down that time. Yeah. Do you need to see how the dogs they play? 
one fall down, the other is not down. They run, the other one falls, the other one comes. That's how the couples are supposed to behave. Yes. Yes. You, 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 this time you are like this, this uh -huh. time you are like this, uh -huh. this time you are like this. Mm -hmm. And you, you make the other person very happy mm -hmm. and you are good together. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Why? <laughs> this is that? wonderful. Yeah, it is. Mm. So uh, let's learn to uh, learn each other. Yeah. Let's learn to at least uh, incline mm -hmm. to one another. Yeah. Let's learn on how to uh, the way you can accommodate the other person. Yeah. The way you can accommodate when 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 your husband is down, mm. you can accommodate you can accommodate him uh -huh. but bring him up. Yeah. When your wife is down, don't just keep on taking her down uh, uh, and even and before, capitalize on yeah, her weakness on her to pin her down. Yeah, that one it will not help. You will not score goal against yeah. yourself. Yes. Uh, against your opponent. You yes. will score against yourself. Yeah, your own self. Yeah. So please let us let us let us work work out uh, these things and uh, I know the Lord will help us. Your spouse needs uh, to hear of course uh, we have we have addressed that mm. sweet ones uh, that will help him to, to, to that, that will help this person to linger uh, by the cooler water. You see, mm -hmm. a, a water that is cool, uh, even sometimes when, 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 when it is very hot, mm -hmm. when, when, when the, in the environment it is very hot, mm -hmm. when you, you give somebody mm -hmm. the water that is cool, it, yes, equal, it equates the task. Yeah. And that is how our words are. Mm -hmm. They are words that you speak to your husband or to your wife and these ones, they will, they will bring a lot of chaos. Uh -huh. And in the book of Proverbs 16 and verse 24, it says, Pleasant ones are like a honeycomb, mm -hmm. sweetness to the soul, and health to the bones. Amen. <laughs> Pleasant ones are like honeycombs. Honeycombs, when, uh, I, I believe you have ever yeah. used honeycombs. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you try them to... to Press them. You you, you enjoy mm. that that honey that comes out. It's it's very sweet. Mm. It and these ones the the, the the Bible says they are sweetness to the soul. Mm. So when you speak sweet words, uh -huh. these ones they help. They go directly to the soul of the your soul. Yeah. They go directly to the soul of your wife. Mm. And something else very 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 encouraging. They are held to the bones. Amen. So once they break someone, uh, there are people who now to a bone as a na ye and on ya pekeake ko barabara, una butana na 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 mama, I've ever met a lady whose husband was like uh uh like uh uh a he boat. Mm -hmm. The husband could 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 meet the house manager on a, in, in our bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I tell you the truth one day, and this man, when he could stand in the church to preach, mm -hmm. and mostly was handling the topic of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is the thing that I've ever, I've ever known. Because one day, the wife came in church wearing dress, it was upside down. He mm -hmm. up and then he go up and then Because of her so your confusion, not stress. Confusion. So, May God help us. <laughs> so, when you speak sweet words, to your spouse, they are they bring help to the bones. So this man will not go downcasted. Your wife will not walk downcasted, and by doing so, it will make your wife to stand tall wherever she goes. Amen. It will make your husband to stand tall. There is nothing. You, you see, you can be you can be down in life. Mm -hmm. You can be beginning even in your marriage. Yeah. You may not be having all what you want to have, but if you are relating well, mm -hmm. there is nothing good like when you are happy together, like when you are relating well, because all these other things, they, they, you, you, you can grow together. You can, you grow can together. build life yeah. together. Mm -hmm. But if you, are, if you are killing each other, if you are killing the strength of your partner, you are killing the ideas of your partner, and uh, of course there are people who don't want, I, I, I've met with uh, some ladies mm -hmm. who do not want even their, uh, their husband to engage themselves in any project. Mm -hmm. Because they, they in that marriage ready to go. They say when we develop, when we build a big house, there's another woman. Who because they have a story yeah. from other families yes. where maybe when they are nothing, their people cast their cars, yeah. their people cast the project that uh -huh. they have done. Yeah. Because when the man was very uh, poor, mm -hmm. he was very humble, yeah. he did not have attraction and the women never looked for a team yeah. or did not pursue him. Mm -hmm. And when he got money, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. now the women come with good car yeah. and dressing knowing how to dress and good shirt and mm-hmm. good suit mm-hmm. so that you look attractive mm-hmm. when you go there mm-hmm. so you may uh, make your man have a good uh, suit uh, attractive when he is going but your ones are kicking him out yeah. there's no love you are so in attention in god he gets there people can humble somehow those who not fear god they will be drifting away yeah. they will be tempted to go away mm-hmm. that's why we say continue who we continue protecting yeah. every time for pro- pro- yeah. protect no way mm-hmm. this person is vulnerable yeah. no way you are in battle mm-hmm. there is attack the devil is there trying to try to bring down mm-hmm. what you have been building yeah. so when you do that you will build up a system wow. that you will enjoy yes. as a family mm-hmm. you will be happy when you are doing that mm-hmm. so other ways of expressing your love we said about giving gifts yeah so when you give gifts you are communicating something so when you bring a gift you are uh, you, 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 you remember this person mm. and you buy a gift to her buy a gift to him mm. you, you are communi- communicating something amen there's some of us in marriage who forgot the last time they received a gift yeah. from their spouses they don't remember uh it may be difficult now in the time of covid 19 yeah, but when you go back to the normal life some of us may forget mm-hmm. so don't forget to bring gifts don't forget uh to 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 uh, as little as you can yeah. you can bring mm-hmm. and you can uh, uh, charm this person he can feel good mm-hmm. he can feel appreciated yeah. when you go out and buy things you don't buy for children alone yeah. don't bring sweets for children and bring nothing for mom so mom means something awesome mm-hmm. if you can buy sweets for children buy a chocolate if she enjoys or even that sweet or even that sweet ah yeah. let that be that but let her feel special than children mm-hmm. let her feel elevated yeah. not unless there is nothing else to do so uh, make sure that this is happening mm-hmm. and the gifts are being uh, given present and given uh, given mm-hmm. then there are uh, uh, physical touching we say that yeah, we talked about that uh, when you are touching you are you are close to this person you are embracing so when you greet a person even physically it shows how much you are connected mm-hmm. how much you miss this person how much you want this person mm-hmm. So there's some people who stay in marriage you you don't even have the hand of your wife to stay for a few minutes in your hands you just feel like you are in hurry to leave and there are people who go and they refuse with that hand and they refuse that on the way and there's a man who have that and there's a man who have that habit of staying with your hand for five minutes reject that's a demon and others ladies hear that mm. if you can uh, give a maybe you shake your heart with a man who is not your husband and this man owns your hand for two minutes ah that's wrong that is wrong and there are some men who do not have some some display mm-hmm. when you stand and you are talking you want to come very close to you we shall talk that when we are talking yeah. about faithfulness yes yeah, so and unfaithfulness mm-hmm. so you you need Different to understand there are some freedom mm-hmm. you're not supposed to do or yeah. someone adds you and uh, he holds you so tightly and he's not your husband not married to you not your husband and not by your wife and there are some wives who are dangerous <laughs> also like that they can easily grab you without knowing so you need to when you read you need to put some distance yeah. away so that because some are very demonic and they can bring such things unto you and some will pretend this love is emotion they miss you they, no, no. they want you please there are some they have to send we shall come to that and then uh, you can also write notes you can text you can uh, chat yeah. You can write a card. Yeah. There is a way of communication. You can also uh, uh, use the signs and gestures yeah. to communicate. Yes. <laughs> there are things you show one another yeah. and they, you can easily understand. That's why you say there is a language. Mm-hmm. And now you can also write poems. Yes. You can write a poem and you can sing. Yeah, okay. Uh, I always tell it my wife. She is a better singer than me. <laughs> but she really sings for me. But I sing for her almost every time. And I told her one time she has to compose a song for me <laughs> and, and even a record. And our record I sing. And be singing for me and bring it to me because you are a better uh, a singer than I am. So you you may have a gift of singing. Sing for your wife, sing for your husband, sing a love song. That's the communication. Sing nice things to this man. That is the woman. So I, I am waiting for the day that you will compose like a song. of love and then come and sing for me with your best voice and then i feel nice oh i try to sing for you <laughs> although i am not a good singer as you are so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen 
I, I believe Amen. God is, is speaking to you and you are getting entertained as we are getting entertained here. Amen. Entertain, sing for your yes. husband, dance, <laughs> even walk around for him. Look, ask him, how do I do? You? Can you, you walk around and, uh, uh, and this will be good. <laughs> Not walking like a thief in your own house. And they are coming like someone who has been stealing from somewhere. I don't do and that. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we are grateful because God is helping us to, to, to talk to you. So please, uh, although we are laughing, we are laughing because we are happy. And we see, we can, uh, we can figure out some people how they do it. So we, 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 we want you to be good communicators. Amen. Create a poem for your husband. Sing. Sing a, a, a good song. Even when you wake up in the morning after prayer, sing something. That person will feel nice. Call a home and then sing over the phone with that nice voice. Oh, sure. You know, there's a man I rebuked, someone. Mm. We were in a mission with him. Mm. And um, in the mission, as we preached, this man is a marketer. Mm -hmm. He would talk so nicely to the, to the customers. And then when the wife called, you could hear that roughness in a stone. Then I noted, this person, because he could pick the call when I am there, go out and speak to him, then come back. Mm -hmm. Then when we were coming, driving in the, the same vehicle, mm -hmm. I turned to him and asked when the wife called, is, this, is that your wife? Then he told me, yes. So I have noted, mm -hmm. the way you talk to your wife is not the way you talk to the to the clients. clients. You are so sweet on the clients. You talk with a very nice voice. But your wife, you are very rough and very rude. So learn to speak to your wife well. Mm. Learn. When, when you pick the call, let the people know mm. you are talking to somebody special. Yeah, yeah. Because something special is happening. You are speaking good ones. Mm. You are showing that this is man. That's why I tell the woman, clear your voice very well when you are talking with your wife, with your husband. Make it feel nice. Pull, bring it the best. Say yes, darling. And, and talk. Let everybody know. Yeah, you are not talking to a customer. You are not talking to someone. Yes, so yes, someone yes. Trust, somebody oh, so yes. special. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I hear. When you're talking to the wife, let them know. This is my wife. Mm. The attention. Then Everything. Yeah. The discussion that you talk, the attention, mm. the way you talk, the, the ones that you will release. Yeah. This person will feel encouraged. And it's real nice when you're communicating, you are calling from far, but the way you are talking, it is really encouragement to the one who is listening. Amen. So please, note how you use your words, mm -hmm. how you use your communication when it comes to talking to your wife, even to your children. Don't be very rude, yeah. shouting at them at any time. They feel like their home is not their own, yeah. as if you are not their father. Okay. When you are sending them, when they are wrong, correct them. But don't that. keep harassing them every time they feel like they are, they are not there. Mm. They don't belong where they belong. Be soft. Show them humor. Humor is very important when it comes to communication and, uh, and behave. And I believe that will help you and help you good. I believe you are learning and we have received this very well. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, we go now to the starting of another sub-ending. But time is gone, but we shall... Yeah, pick it and then tomorrow because we are here also tomorrow and Friday mm -hmm. and we shall continue. Yeah. The pillar or well, the thing number six is the pillar of a happy marriage mm -hmm. is friendship. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I begin this I want us to reflect something. Do you remember the days those who were married for many years five 10, 20, 30. Do you remember when you were 14? Oh my. When this person would write you a letter, <laughs> how many times you would you read? Some I come from that old age. They know where they were writing the letter and where they were covering with a stone. <laughs> because they used to be disturbed. No, no SMS. Yeah, no, there were no means of no any other. So you are talking, you say, you write something, go and put it under that stone. I'll come and pick it. I will come and pick it. And you go. And some are communicating, you are throwing stones. 
to alert the other. To alert the other person you have come. When the stone goes down, you know the person is there and you, you start singing. If some, you are busy. Some would whistle. Uh, whistling you would be known. Stones were the most creative. So you would start singing something because you are agreed. When I sing this song, you, you know the mother is allowed. And I will not be permitted to come out. You know those are the things, eh? Mm -hmm. old, old generation. Leave alone this generation. You can write a text. You can write an SMS and say where you are. Mm -hmm. And when you can meet. Mm -hmm. That one, those days, love was very sweet. Mm -hmm. And now, when you would receive that, 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 that photo, wow, wow, wow. you would watch it, and put look it at it somewhere, uh -huh. three times. Even before you sleep, yeah. you put it in a special place. <laughs> the letter you would read it every night. Before you sleep. Before you sleep. You would memorize those ones. Why? You were deeply in love. Yeah. And friendship yeah. was at its best. Yeah. Yeah. You were in love with your best friend. Of course, yeah. So the best friend, what happened? How can you stay for six months without talking to the same person that you are reading the letter three times, four times, the same letter before you sleep? Mm -hmm. What happened to that love? What happened to that kind of commitment where you could not feel, even when it is raining, you could be rained on for seven hours without an umbrella to make sure you communicate to this person? To make sure you pass the message and you will not sleep until you, what you agree is done. You will struggle. You will climb a tree mm -hmm. to check on a tree. Every time to see whether he, will, he is near or she is near. Mm -hmm. What happened to that kind of commitment? What happened when to those things when you felt when this person called you, you will feel like heaven and earth has come down. And now you are just answering the call or the phone. you are picking for call the phone without having much interest. The son can even ignore. In your heart you can ignore. The wife is calling and says, the wife said this is a problem. This is a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. What happened? Now I came, I open my remarks by saying, many marriages break, not due to lack of love, yeah. but due to lack of friendship. What happened, and that is why things are called the way they are, is the friendship that does not work today. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to fight yeah. for the friendship to break. Mm -hmm. You don't have to quarrel for the friendship, for the friendship to break. Mm -hmm. What you need is to cut off communication. Yeah is to cut off dialogue, mm -hmm. is to fail to, to meet and to be together. Mm -hmm. There are people today who used to be your friends and they, you did not quarrel, you did not fight, but when you meet today, you don't call them friends. Mm -hmm. You call them old friends. Friend. This is my old friend. You never fought. I want to say this, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. There are people in marriage today, husband and wife, and they are old friends. In the same house. In the same house, in the same but they are old friends. friends. Yeah. Their friendship Dying. is no longer working. It, it died. Mm -hmm. And what happens when friendship dies? Love is dead. Yeah. Love does not work. It is the environment of friendship that makes the love burst. Yeah. Without that friendship, that nothing can happen. Mm. Some people started with friendship before they fell in love. Yeah, of course. You fell in love with your best friend. Yeah. And you maintain that friendship. Mm. And you became lovers. You take it to that next level. Mm. So, so love was so taken to the next level. It's yeah. friendship. Yeah. That was taken to the next we level. We take our friendship to yeah. the next level. Yeah. So what that friendship, if it's not cultivated, mm. it will break. 
And when it breaks, you lose interest. I finished by saying, I read a story. I will come tomorrow to explain this. But no, it's lack of friendship that breaks. That destroys. There's a couple that had a problem. And the husband was thinking of separating with the wife and marrying another. And he felt there's no fire between the two of them. They are not linking anymore. There is no fire of love. They are not attracted to each other. They can stay with uh, um, several months without touching one another. No interest. And when they touch one another, it's just a dull thing in that relationship. Mm -hmm. So the husband honored the, la the wife as he went out with his life. He was able to connect with a lady that was able to fire him up and feel his in love again. And they used to meet a colleague in work, chat, love. This is this, uh, laughing together. This man felt now I am where I used to be. Mm -hmm. And now they went and they said they want to get married. And before he got married, as a civilized person, as they call themselves, she needed <laughs> to divorce right. the former wife. Now, because now she feels nothing for her. And then she comes. He comes, he comes and tells the wife, which are the, the worst things that he happened to his life. I want a divorce. And he tries to do everything to show her that she, he want a divorce. The woman says, it's okay, I want a divorce. I will give you a divorce. But I will give it in, on, on, in this condition. And she gave us the uh, several condition. And one of the conditions that in the starting of their marriage, until they had their son who was now about nine or seven years old, the woman used to, the man used to carry the woman every night mm -hmm. from the bedroom, uh, sitting room, to the bedroom as they go to sleep. And uh, the son grew knowing that, and even the son would say, Daddy, it's it is right. time to carry mm -hmm. mommy now. Uh, and now the, the man will be carried and go to bed. And one time when the man is, has not woken up, or the woman has not woken up earlier the man to go to work of this, he will also carry the woman again and bring her to the bed, to the sitting room. And they will take the breakfast, have it together, taking the breakfast together, eating together, supper they were taking together, and they used to be happy. Now time came when now they could not take breakfast together, they could not take dinner together. Remember lunch, they are in place of work. And nothing is happening between them. So the friendship died. So the woman said, we revive that. We revive number one, you will be carrying me every evening the way you used to do. And when you are down, you can carry me also to the, to the city the way you used to do. We shall eat, we shall take breakfast together and we shall eat dinner together. So these were the conditions. These are the conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, after every week, every weekend, after every two weeks, for the next two months, you shall be taking me out the way you used to do. The two of us have a dinner and you do it persistently the way you, are you are, the way you were doing for these months. And they agreed. That and the man true. said, if I do that, will you give me a divorce? Say, yes, I will sign it. That was the condition. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? The man started carrying the first day without him wanting because he's not connected. The following day, eating breakfast, eating the dinner uh, together without him being there because he is doing it for the month for him, for him to get something. Like, but I want to say, before one month was over, he fell again with in love. The love was rekindled. The love was rekindled. Wow. He came to know this is the woman that I married. This is the best girl that I married. This is the thing. She came to realize now nothing happened between, uh, happened to the wife. What happened? There was separation. Nothing changed. It's just separation. And what kept this wife I married away from me? A separation and from there now the man was revived again and became love remember there are several couples we are seen yeah. they are given a two months a, a two-week retreat yeah. to go out and be them, themselves mm -hmm. 
and they were fighting and quarreling. By the time they finished those two weeks, and they are given a calendar, a program that they should do together, they fall in love again. Wow. And they come again loving one another. So, in short, what happened is that that commitment of the friendship was moved. The things you were doing together, you no longer do them together. The chat you used to have, you no longer have it. That is why friendship died and you felt like love is dead. It is not love that is dead. It is friendship that is dead. Tomorrow we shall eat on this deep and talk about the friendship that is dead in your marriage. And I pray that God will keep you there, that we may talk and discuss deep on that and, uh, and go deep on today. There shall be revival. There shall be revival. We want to see people falling in love again, yes. even those who felt like they cannot be together again. What you have lacked is just that togetherness, mm. doing things together. You have been so separated by activities. Mm. You have been so separated by the issues that happen in life. And you feel this woman changed, this man changed. There is not change that you are thinking about. It is about the separation that was brought up by the activities that you allowed to separate and destroy your routine program. That is staying together, that talking together, that eating together, that togetherness died. So I say, go back. Yeah. If you used to carry high every morning and she has not become very heavy, <laughs> carry. If you used to eat together, it, if you, you do something, yeah. do something that you have, that you don't make that one at the activity. Mm -hmm. Look for the time together, go and and they play, play football together if you can, play uh, volleyball together, play darts together, play a game somewhere, chess, mm -hmm. something. Bring yourself together, bring yourself together, and you will see you love her. You will see that that love is there. The man is the real that that little man. The thing is, attention is gone. That is why you feel like you are no longer in love with one another. Friendship is mm -hmm. that what won't revive. Yeah. You are finally uh, marked as we pray. Yeah, uh, because of our time, uh, we thank God for this far. I understand that you are married to the best person. That man, that wife, she is the best. And uh, she is the choice that you made. Your husband is the choice that you made. So do what you're supposed to do for that love to be rekindled. Maybe as you are watching or maybe as you will watch later, you are in a state where you feel this man was not meant for me. That is as a result of what you have failed to do. Yeah. Begin to do what you are doing and also do what you have never done. Amen. Begin to source uh, through uh, even the revelation that the Holy Spirit will give you, through even reading books, through doing some research that are not defiling your faith, and begin to apply something new that you, that you learn. Yeah. Even what maybe you have learned today and you are not aware of it, try to apply it. Yeah. And by doing so, your marriage will be in another track of the divine plan of God. God will be very happy when you are happy. There is no parent mm. who is happy when the children are happy. No, not happy. No. Uh, there, is, uh, there is no man who is happy when the wife is not uh, happy. Uh, uh, is happy or not performing the way he or she should perform. The same case to the wife. So please... Uh, you you are you are you are the best person for the game. You are the the best person. You may you may see your husband, but I want to tell you the truth. You are the best for 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 him. There's something that I always tell ladies, even when 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 I, I'm ministering. Uh, not everybody can handle this man. Mm. I tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> some some people they uh, some, some there are some people who see pastors' wives and they they, they see this woman uh, was not meant for a pastor. But I want to tell you that woman may be crooked, maybe physically the way you see, but before the eyes of God and what she does to that man, you cannot do. What you do to your husband, you are the best for that. That's woman. why he chose you. That's why he chose a man. You. Yeah, the many. Man. Yeah. The, and, 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 and the vice versa. So I want to, to, to encourage everybody there. 
begin to rebuild your marriage. Work it out. Begin to rebuild your commitment. Begin, begin to submit as a, as a, as a, as a, as a wife. Uh, husband, begin to love your, 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 your wife. Uh, let your faith be anchored in God. And let your friendship. Yani urafiki, unajua marafiki ya, marafiki, bad news ikitokelezea you are the first person. Yeah, yeah, good news ikitokelezea the, 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 the first person to know is, is your friend. So let your husband become your best friend. Other friends, let them follow. Let your wife become your best friend. Let other friends follow. And by doing that, you meet yourself, you have a strong attachment. There shall be that intimate relationship between the two of you. And I tell you the truth, you will not be bored. We've been married for the last 17 years. We work together, we do everything together. Our office, we sit the way we are sitting here. <laughs> and, and we are just like this. Mm. We, the way you are sitting, we are just like this. And we enjoy staying together. There, there are some people who, who, who ask, are you not bored? Are you not bored to stay? How together? can you be bored by your best friend? By your best friend. You want more time. <laughs> It is practically impossible. Yeah. So please, marriage is can work. Marriage can work. Ndoa ina nisafanya kazi. Don't have a bad attitude towards your marriage. Don't have a bad attitude towards your, your husband, towards your wife. And by doing so, you will be happy. Please, uzijitimbie shimo wewe mwenyewe mapema. Don't die before time. Don't visit heaven. Uh, before your, time. before your time, even yeah. angels they, they will wonder why have you come before time? Imagine dying because of marriage. And the marriage you not marry in heaven. Yeah, so it's the end here. Please, um, my dear, God bless you. Wherever you are listening, a woman like me, wherever you are listening, make sure you enjoy to the fullest. Amen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We want to pray and uh, we have this uh, program here. Thank you, servant of God, Joshua Langat. I see you have been uh, stuck there and for a long time you have been there. And God bless you and God continue to replenish you and uh, continue to give you good things in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Tabitha, I can see you are still there. We pray that this grace will flow direct to you Amen. and you cause you to have a happy marriage and be Jesus. happy. And those others who are who are uh, watching and they are stuck there, yes. I can see somebody who is saying, at Jesus, something I had Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh, God bless you and uh, I believe uh, the joy that we have, we can spread it to you. We yeah. see Emma was there, yeah. uh, uh, Pierre Rocorio is here, Lydia, and uh, all those who are yeah. standing there, there are so many. We cannot stay to mention your names. God give you grace and what you are saying. We have been singing this for many years mm. and it works. Mm. And it works really. We say it works because it's working in our case. Let us pray as we end our program. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the marriage, uh, divine marriage program that has come to an end today. Thank you for many, many people that you have brought on board to listen and to get blessed today and um, because you are purpose them to receive this uh, message. There are so many who will continue receiving this message and to continue circulating uh, 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 in the, in the, in the uh, uh, system and you are going to cause your name to be glorified by making many learn, by making them hear and understand. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bring joy, peace, in marriage. Revive the friendship. Yes. Bring the wisdom of good communication. Yes, that the wives will know who they are. The husbands will know who they are. Yes. And they will have a good communication mm. in their marriage. Yes. And they will also friendship that is there. Mm. They shall be revived in the name of Jesus. You, and they shall bring that love again. Mm. That they will be committed. Mm. And they will love one another. Mm. Those who are not married. We place them before your hands. Thank God they will find peace and joy and happiness in a marriage relationship. That we will grow, Lord. The things that we are teaching, they will learn from them. The testimonies we are giving, the people who have made mistakes, they will learn from those mistakes and avoid them in their own times. And they will not do the things that will destroy because they have knowledge. God, I pray destroying every force of darkness against marriage, Jesus. against happiness of the family. Mm. Whatever brings confusion, mm. misunderstanding, yes. 
in the family, we arrest you in the name of Jesus. Every power of darkness that causes divorce and separation, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Divorce and separation and deaths of marriage. So we arrest the spirit of death in marriage. Whatever kills a partner before their time is causing widowhood and widowers. I destroy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the couples will grow together. They will be united together. They shall be together in love. They shall live together in love. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for unity. I pray for wisdom of living together. I pray that the husband will know the wife. And the wife will know the husband. They will understand one another. And promote one another in love. They shall live together to glorify your name. I bless your name. I exalt your name. For the goodness that you have released unto the families. Let them dwell in peace. We speak peace in your marriage. As you sleep tonight, there shall be love of God. God shall protect you. God shall watch over you. We pray for your servants, God, especially their marriage. They are targeted by the devil. Because the devil knows if a man cannot rule well his house, cannot be a good minister. And many are being targeted. We come against those weapons and those tactics. We shield the families of pastors with your blood. We speak, God, they shall grow. They shall be happy. The children of pastors, daughters and sons of pastors, they will have good marriages for the glory and honor of your name. I pray for all of them, shield all of them. Family in the basic unity of the society. If the family is good, the nation is good. Bless the family in Kenya. Bless the marriages in Kenya. Let us have divine marriages. Every disorder, every perversion in marriage, we destroy it. We speak peace and prosperity of family. Those who are not working together, those who are not agreeing, those who are not living together, they love, they are supposed to be together. I bring them together in the name of Jesus. Whatever is working out to separate what we are put together, in woman, in a man, who has stood between the two people who love one another to break the marriage. Mm -hmm. And you said what you have put together, no man shall put asunder. Labaku Sotaya. Move them away. Move them away. In the name of Jesus. And show your people with love. Show them your kindness. Show them your mercy. Because you are God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. May the Lord of peace bless you, grant you peace and prosperity in your family. May God build your house and protect you. Keep on following this program and you are going to be blessed. Uh, tomorrow we shall be here beginning at 9 and we shall uh, be having continuation of the friendship where we have stopped. My name is Apostle Domiziano Mwenda together my, or with my wife and we are saying God bless you. Remember, ndoa si kuvumiliana, bali ni kufraiyana. Tukutane kesho sisao ku share a message na wenzako na pia kama umebarikiwa pia kuwa invite ili waweze kusikia kama vile wewe umesikia na waweze kubarikiwa na mungu wataweza kukutenda mambo mema. Shalom and God bless you and do you good. Don't forget to visit our YouTube uh, uh, apo, at Apostle um, and Domizia Nomwenda and subscribe so that anytime we upload new message it will come to you and you are going to be blessed. God bless you and do you good. Amen. Amen.